Hey, all right. Welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth. So trying to reimagine amateur radio in the uh, in the information age. Hey, today is a great example. We're going to send SMS messages and even email through the JS8 call software. So using the JS8 call modes, we're going to send SMS and email. And we're going to do that this time on KM6 LYW Radio. All right, welcome back. I uh, just butchered that. That's the bumper music. It's obligatory now. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to learn some new ones. All right, so let's let's fire up JS8 Call and see if we can use it to send an SMS or an email. So JS8 Call, a lot of people don't know, actually has an APRS, like you know what you use if an APRS enabled HT. You know you're sending text messages, position reports. You can actually do APRS operations through JS8 Call, and that includes messaging. So we can actually use APRS gateways like SMS GTE or the email gateway, and we can send messages back and forth to those virtual radios using JS8. So what we're gonna do is use the ICOM 705 here, let me make me a whole lot smaller so you can see this. We've got an ICOM 705. Uh, we're going to use HF frequencies for this. And we've got a Raspberry Pi running the DigiPi SD card image. Uh, the SD card image is available to patrons of the channel at digipi.org. But uh, honestly, you could use anything that runs JS8 call um, on some sort of Linux environment or, or your Raspberry Pi. Um, we can do that here. We've got some scripts that are gonna help us make, make this really easy. You don't need to be an engineer or a programmer to make this happen. Let's see if we can do it right now. So the DigiPi has a web-based interface here. And right now it's in standby mode. So what we wanna do is fire up JS8 Call. That's the guy on the bottom here. And JS8 Call is going to fire up it's now in JS8 call mode. That's what it says there. And I think we're on the right frequency. We're going to try 20 meters today. So we're on 14.078 here. You know, we can do that. Um, so to run, to see JS8 call running on the DigiPi, we click right here on the launch link. And JS8 call will pop up in our web browser. You don't need a monitor, a keyboard, or anything for the DigiPi. Everything runs in a web browser or on your Wi Fi device. So here is JS8 call working on the DigiPi. So we're kind of waiting for stations to come in. I don't know if we need to, like, you know, make do an all call or anything at this point. You know, we'll see stations rolling in. So what I want you to do now is we've got these two scripts that'll actually talk to JS8 call. Uh, one script sends an email, another script will send an SMS. Pretty simple. The scripts themselves are right here. So I've got them on my PC. I've got one, one called JS8 SMS. Um, this is a script I put together. This is it. This is the whole script. Um, all you do is type JSA email.sh and then a phone number and then a message. And then it will talk to JS8 call and send all that information in an APRS formatted packet through JS8 call. Most JS8 call clients have APRS enabled, so they're always forwarding APRS traffic that they hear to the APRS information service. One caveat is that you're not going to be able to receive responses. Now, if you want to see re receive responses, you need to use a traditional uh, you know, VHF-based APRS system on 144.39, and you can do texting back and forth. But at least if you're in a jam, you can get an email out or an SMS message out. So this is an example of the script that sends an SMS message. So I'm going to just say quit here. I can say dot slash js8sms.sh. And if I just hit enter, it'll show us the usage. So just run JS8 email.sh and then the at persan, that's important, and then a phone number, like this is 555-8675309. Ah, ah, special phone number. And then some message text immediately after that. So this is on my PC. What we need to do is get the script over to the DigiPi or your Raspberry Pi. So the DigiPi, the management interface here, has a shell prompt that we can open up here. You know, so you don't need to use putty or any obnoxious stuff. I'm gonna make this bigger. So you don't need any extra software. I'm gonna log in as user pi. Log in with the super secret password. You guys, you guys know what that is. And I'm gonna do a make dir, it stands for make directory. I don't know, I just make something up called JS8. And actually on, on, on um, DigiPi, it's read only usually by default. I already made it read right. So you'd type sudo remount. And now DigiPod, now you can write to the file system. Now you can do make dir JS8. It's already there. Um, now I'm gonna CD into JS8. 
and I've got nothing there. So I can take the script that's in the description here, okay? I'm gonna VI, so I'm gonna cat JS8 SMS, and I'm gonna cut and paste this script that we put together that sends SMS messages. And I am going to paste it into a file called JS8SMS.sh. This is on the DigiPy. Paste. Ta da. There we go. Pasted it. Hopefully, you guys can read that. And I've got another script that sends email, and that's called JS8Email.sh, also in the description down there. I'm going to cut and paste that into my uh, Raspberry Pi here. There it is. BIJS8Email.sh. And I'm going to paste that. All right. Now I have these two files in here. One's called JS, actually just do it. I'll do a clear, I'm gonna do LS. Here they are, we got JSA email and JSA SMS. We need to make them executable. You can't just execute text files in Linux. So I'm gonna do change mod 755, that makes them executable. I can use the asterisk and then the SH, that change says change mod 755, every file that ends in SH. That's what this command does. Now when I do an LS, you'll notice they're a different color. Ha <laughs> ha, that means they're executable. All right, now we can run these things. Um, so let me make sure I've got everything up and running. Make sure I'm on the right frequency. Uh, this is just way too big. Um, so JS8 call is doing JS8 call stuff. I'm actually seeing call signs over here. That's a good sign. I see people do, sending traffic. I'm gonna pick a frequency here that isn't necessarily in use. Hey, best ham radio practices there. All right, so I think JS8's call is gonna work. So what we're gonna do, the script is actually gonna talk to JS8 call behind the scenes uh, using a, a network interface. Uh, actually, we're just gonna use Netcat if, you, if you're interested in the nuts and bolts. Um, this is different from, old, if you've seen old videos or old instructions on how to do APRS operations through JS8 call, it's different now. So the command structure is different. We're gonna talk to APRS IS directly. Um, so do ignore older stuff. So this is the, a newer version of JS8 call um, and these scripts will work with the late, later versions of JSA call. Um, so if you're trying to use something older and you're getting like an invalid port, they even changed the port number uh, on the latest version of JSA call. Use these scripts. These are the, this is, this uses the latest stuff on the APRS, on the JSA call uh, application binary interface, the, the API or programming interface. All right. That was a lot of mumbo jumbo. Let's get back to doing some cool radio stuff. So I'm going to make this big. I don't know why it makes both browsers big when I change the size. All right, so we've got these two commands. So let's see, I wanna run, let's say I wanna do the SMS message. So I'm gonna dot slash, that means in the current working directory, you want a file called JS8SMS. And then the uh, the command syntax, like I said, is always gonna have an at percent and then a phone number. So we 555-8675309, or, you know, and then test, you know, or, or something, or some message after that, okay? So I'm not gonna actually send it to that phone number. I have an alias for my phone number, which, hey, I'm not giving out on this channel. And I made an alias at the SMS GTE gateway. Look up SMS GTE if you wanna set up aliases and set up an account for texting. It's all free, it's all available to ham. And I'm gonna say test message. So this is gonna, I'm gonna run a command called JS8 SMS.sh and then, the, the arguments for the command are going to be at CL, which is a alias for my uh, phone number, for my phone, which we've got right here. Let me see if I can leave it in the... That's my phone thing. And then it's going to send a text message of test message to my phone number. That's what this is going to do. So here it goes. <laughs> We're going to run it. I know this is a lot of steps. There it goes. It says sending a command to at APRSIS. That's the APRS Information Service. Uh, the destination is SMS GTE. You don't need to know all this stuff, but let's go over and take a look at JS8 call and see what it's up to. You'll notice in the text message area here where you normally type, you're actually seeing what I just said. You see SMS GTE down here and test message is going to at CL. You'll also notice that this is transmitting making a horrible noise there it is that's the message going out on JS8 call um, it's gonna take a few frames what I got it in slow mode here I don't know I don't know what mode I'm in normal mode I guess I'm gonna turn this down because I because I have to make that really loud in order for you guys to hear it on this microphone so what we're gonna do once that's done transmitting and it's almost done we can see it's the red light still on come on and then we're gonna keep an eye on our phone here. I'm gonna back this off so we can see the phone and everything. So the Raspberry Pi is talking to the 705. It's doing the transmission, doing all the cat control over the USB cable. And JS8 call is running on the Pi, 
displaying in my web browser because that's how DigiPie does things. I'm gonna turn this down. And we're kind of watching my phone. There should be a, a text message that just pops up on my phone here. We're gonna wait for that to happen. Oops. Probably gonna come through while I'm smashing the camera around. And there it is. <laughs> There's a text message that just came up. Uh, so let's go to our phone and we see test message. There it is. We just got a text message on our phone using nothing more than the Raspberry Pi, the ICOM 705, an HF antenna, and we actually sent a text message to our phone. Now you can do the exact same thing to an email address. It doesn't have to be uh, an SMS message. So what we can also do, remember we created a, uh, a file called JSA email here as well. I'll make this bigger. I'm fighting the browser here. And at the, in this case, I can just say JS, I'm sorry, dot slash, that means in the working directory, JSA email. Now we don't type an at percent here. We can just type an email address like uh, hey at you know, gmail.com and then test message. All right, we could do that. Um, I already have an alias set up. You can look up email on APRS, Google that, and you can set up aliases for your call sign. And I've got one set up called CL. You know, Normally you just put an email address here, but I've got an alias called CL. So this time I'm gonna run JSA email space CL or whatever email address you want, and then some message. And in this case, I'm doing test message. So I'm gonna hit enter here and it's gonna JSA email script that's in the description of this video is gonna talk to JSA call in the background and actually send that packet. So I'm gonna hit return, here it goes. I'm gonna go back over here, make this small again so it's legible. It'll take a second. We'll see it pop up here when, it's, uh, when it reaches on the API, there it is. So we see the transmission text that's gonna go through. It's, it's email um, is the name of the APRS call sign. So if you're into, if you wanna use APRS and email, uh, the call, the virtual call sign is called email. And if we look at the ICOM 705, we can see that it's transmitting. It's actually sending that string of test message to station email. Oh, that's loud. I gotta make it loud so you guys can hear it. That's what it sounds like if you're not into JS8. If you're into J8 call, you recognize this noise. It's sending, it's sending, and you know, this is gonna take, in normal mode, what is this gonna take? It's probably gonna take like a minute and a half here. We're almost through it. And I don't know why it appends like A, Y, U, why it appends these three letters to this. Um, ultimately, the APRS terminator is a, a left brace and then a number. I just generate a random number in this script um, that we're using here. Uh, that you are going to use. It is in the description of this video. So we're still transmitting. So now what we're doing is we're going to our email box and we're going to read all of my email and hi guys, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Thomas, I guess everyone, we can see you here. Um, so what we're going to do, oh, there it is. So you see a new message just popped up in my inbox here. I wish I could make this bigger, but you can see it says test message right here. Now remember, whoever you send this email to, it, they're not gonna get it. Uh, they're not, well, they'll get it, but they won't be able to reply to you because it's it's not a duplex, it's not, a JSA call isn't two-way. If you're using APRS, yeah, you, you could get away with it you know, on a VHF, but for JSA call, don't expect, expect replies. So we did it, we just got it, we sent an SMS and an email, unbelievably, via JSA call, incredibly. All right, so, I'm trying to think of anything else uh, that, that's cool here. I, I'm trying to keep these, these videos short. I know 20 minutes is kind of a limit for a lot of you guys. But what I have to do um, now that we've done this is thank the patrons because you guys make this possible. So if you want to contribute to the channel, it's patreon.com slash km6lyw. It gets you access to this DigiPy image right here that we just uh, modified a little bit. We added those two scripts, JSA email and JSA SMS. Um, so if you're a patron, you get access to the DigiPy SD card image and you really do help out with the channel. So Foo, Steve, uh, Mark, Ryan, Brian, Jake, Christopher, Ian, Tony, Jim, Brad, Michael, Malcolm, Buddy, Kevin, Robert, Kevin. Honestly, I wish I could read all of your names. Simon, thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Henry, Troy, Brian, there's so many. Thomas, <laughs> this is overwhelming. David, it's almost embarrassing. Uh, how much support you guys have given me. I really do appreciate it. Um, Charles, uh, Terry, 
uh, kanji alphabet. I wish I don't. I don't speak Japanese, but that's cool. We've got we're going global, you guys. We've got you know uh, non U.S. call signs here. Thank you so much, guys. James, uh, uh, Gordon, Palm, Jason, Max, Frozen Nerd, right on, Frozen Nerd. Thank you. The, the weirder the your name, more likely it's going to stand out, and I'm going to read it here. BB, thank you, BB. All right, Louis, thank you, Cliff, Robert, Danny, Roderick, Thomas, Alex. You guys know who you are. Jedi Master Eon. There's another awesome name. Thank you, sir. Thank you for, for all the help here. I really appreciate it. All right, so this has been another KM6 LYW radio production. Let me know if you're using JS8 call for things other than just talking to people or sending position reports. Let me know if you're sending SMS messages or emails through JS8 call. I hope that with the addition of these scripts that I put together here that I can make it really simple. You know, so you just type one command and an email address and some text. Um, you know, get this on your Raspberry Pis. So you can run them. Um, that way you don't have to know all of this mumbo jumbo API stuff for JS8 call. I mean, it's in there. Check it out if, you, if you're a programmer, you know, how to use Netcat and, and that kind of stuff. But use these scripts, JS8 email and JS8 SMS. Um, they are at the uh, bottom of the, uh, the description in this video. All right, guys. Hey, my name is Craig, call sign KM6LYW, and I am clear. <laughs>